a very important um, kind of event to bring in together high-level decision makers and then those who can assist them in uh, implementing the decisions. Uh, it's a very strategic kind of meeting that, that needs to take place. Of course, the exchange of experience between different cities, uh, different uh, technological solutions offers. So, very valuable platform. Um, all the reasons for which we are very grateful we were invited with the topics on which we are talking about, which are sustainability, heritage revival, and role of culture in cities today. Heritage is really part of the future. When we talk about heritage, we don't talk about the past only, but it's our roots that allow us to build into the future. And in that, all the uh, new technological digital means are very valuable. So it's not about the conflict between the past and uh, today, the present and the future, but it's really growing together for an optimal outcome. So I think this message we really managed to put it across and it was well received. I see uh, a very important challenge in the way we build cities today. And so I never disconnect heritage and the way we build, because if you look into the way in which heritage cities were developing, uh, one critical feature is that heritage cities developed very much in line with the local context, which we tend to lose today because we have new technologies, we can just pour concrete and cement, and that happens all over. So the consequences of this approach go much beyond the cultural aspect. It touches very much sustainability because when you don't harness on the local climate context, topography, hydrology, etc., you pour in much more resources than you could have. And these resources we don't have anymore to provide for all the urbanization needs that we have today. So many people today need shelter, they need housing, they need basic services, they need infrastructure. So this is one. But two, the way we try to address this issue today is not leading us anywhere either, because we, we lose cultural identity, we lose uh, connectivity between citizens and their place. They don't see anything that is valuable anymore because it's just so uniform, it doesn't reflect them as such. We're very much looking forward to collaborating with the World Bank as a convener, as a policy influencer, and we can bring the technical experts to brainstorm on technical solutions, but this is only one part of um, of the way we can address things. The second part becomes uh, finding convincing arguments for policymakers to take this on board. And eventually it leads to a whole revolution, you know, of the structure in, in which we are building today. Natural heritage is what? It's natural ecosystems, you know, blue, green ecosystems. These suffer tremendously in Asian cities. Why? Because uh, these are just given to developers, you know, to, to build high rises, whatever it is, and the city loses the natural buffer that protects it, it against heat, against floods, against droughts, against water shortages. So for a politician to actually take this step and say, okay, I protect this natural ecosystem, how does he gain visibility on that? You need to learn how to communicate properly. We need to convey to citizens that actually prohibiting development in a certain area is going to benefit to a whole set of population. I had something to recommend is always to be grounded, bringing people in, public consultations. What is the value for different groups of people uh, to, to harness on these different digital technologies? We have seen that technologies are there and if there is one takeaway I would want cities to have is that how can we better use the tools to improve lives of people rather than what are the tools that we should master and you know, be at par with the most modern possibilities ever.